Aqua Black Series. Aqua have gone back to their roots. They're always famous for this type of luggage with the black tipping. They've got black handles, black zips. As you can see, it really stands out from the plain greens that a lot of the companies use, and it gives it a really carpy look. There's a whole range here. It's designed to be totally modular, so various bits fit in various bags. There's lots to have a look at, so uh, without further ado, let's crack on and run through the range. Okay, we'll start with the large rucksack. Great bit of kit. Obviously, rucksacks are always handy to have for them occasions where you can't use your barra. So just run you through some of the features. These pockets have all been designed to actually accommodate certain bits and pieces. Now, obviously, you don't have to use those exact pieces, but as I said, it's been designed to be modular, so they are the perfect fit for those slots. So we've got plenty of pockets. Two on that side, one long one on, this, on that side, which obviously accommodates a nice bank stick roll. The bank stick roll, again, is a brilliant idea for those people who like to use single bank sticks. So I could do with one myself, to be honest with you. Bank sticks just slot in, and then these flaps over your buzzers, and that just rolls up nicely. So as I said, that fits in the side pocket, no problems whatsoever. Front pocket, you can get one of these medium bits bags in there without any trouble. Obviously I don't need to put all of them in do I? And then the main front pocket on the front there you've either got the um, buzz bar bag which goes in there no problems or the rig wallet which is quite extensive lots of uh, plastic wallets there to, to keep your tackle in. You've got this mesh one there you can keep your hook links and bits and bobs in and then obviously a, a really nice sized rig board on the back there and lots of little slots tuck little packets into there. Great bit of kit that, I think I could do with one of them myself. So there's a large bits bag as well, that can go in the side pockets, just have a little look in here. So it's got your little dividers for putting what you want in and dividing it up to whatever style you like. And also a zip wallet in the top there. Then you've got the session cool bag which fits in the main compartment without any trouble. Really good to have cool bags. I've been doing a lot of free night sessions lately and you know you want to keep your food fresh, you want to keep your bait fresh and these are fantastic for that. Really good quality, nice thick padding and uh, yeah, built to last. Then there is a, a smaller cool bag as well. You might want to use one for food and one for bait. These are fantastic, even if you just want to keep your milk and little bits and bobs in there for on short sessions, keeping your stuff nice and fresh. Right. I think that covers the, the main rucksack. Obviously on the back you've got fantastic padding here, really thick support. It looks pretty comfortable as well. Lots of straps to secure it properly. Proper bit of kit. Right, let's see what else we've got in the range. Okay, so here's the modular cool bag, which obviously can be used as it is, no problem whatsoever. It's got that nice thick insulation on there and a uh, good carry strap, both for single one and one for going over your shoulder as well. As I say, it is modular, so it's designed to take this large cool bag and this smaller cool bag too. So they fit in there like so. So obviously, as I mentioned before, it's really important to keep your food and everything fresh when you're out for long sessions. And this one keeps them double fresh because you've got twice the amount of padding and obviously you could have three of these in there, three individual ones if you wanted different types of bait or if you wanted to keep your food and bait separately, no problem whatsoever. And then once that they're zipped up and then the main compartment zipped up, they are fully insulated to the max. <laughs> right, we've got the large carrier here. As you can see, big main compartment in there which will accommodate loads of stuff. A couple of webs pockets on the ends main pocket on the front, little one there, and then two on the sides, and then obviously nice padded carrying strap, as well as two reinforced handles there, getting it in and out of the car or on and off the barra. And this is designed to incorporate two of the session cool bags, if you want, or you could get four of those smaller cool bags in there. The front pocket, obviously that will take a rig wallet or the buzzer bar bag, and then the side pocket, easily house one of those large bits bags. There's one other item that we haven't got here today because they're actually out of stock of at the time and that is the brew kit bag. Designed to house your brew kit obviously but as well as that they can be used for loads of other stuff too so make sure you check them out as well. Right moving on, what's next? 
Okay, last few bits to run through. We'll start with a small carry-all. All the same features as the larger one. You know, really good strap, designed to accommodate all the various bits and pieces. You've got a couple of pockets on the back there, two on the sides, and uh, that nice main compartment. This is quite a nice one. This is the stalking bag. It's been designed in two main sections. So the back one, you could get your rig wallet or buzz bar bag in if you wanted to. And then the front one, it's got the old foil lining and the, the thick insulation too. So brilliant if you want to be walking around, keeping your bait nice and fresh. Um, or you might want to keep you know, your, your drinks and food and stuff in there cold whilst you're walking around on them hot days stalking. Um, obviously you can put in there anything you like. You've got a couple of other pockets at the front there. And then your main padded strap. And also a zip pocket at the back. So yeah, brilliant bit of kit that. When you're out stalking, you only need to carry a minimal gear and it goes over your shoulder with a nice padded strap. Brilliant. Moving on from there, we've got a food bag. Pretty standard, this one. Nice big open space on the inside. Obviously, you could put your, your cool bags inside there if you wanted to. Um, zip on the, on the top there and your usual carrying straps. This is quite a nice last one to finish with. A bucket bag. You want to put any bait in there, Obviously, as with all of these things, you can put whatever you like in there and it's got nice strong straps on it. It's got a reinforced bottom. Another point worth mentioning is this Endura material is a real high quality material which has been treated with a waterproof layer. Really good quality stuff. It's designed by carp anglers to last a long time. Well worth checking out.